The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is going to host a Chinese Arab summit. The country got a lot of attention recently when its soccer team managed to beat Argentina. The summit is being held in the Saudi capital Riyadh, where I am now. Time for breakfast. This is lepam, a kind of fermented milk whose taste is somewhere between that of milk and yogurt. According to my observation from a window, here the workday begins very early, about 6 a.m., and that is interspersed by periods of rest and prayer, and finishes about midday. Today we're going to a local amusement park. He was talking about the date palm tree. Then we got stuck in heavy traffic. But one thing I didn't notice on the trip were women driving cars. In Saudi Arabia, it was only in 2018 that women were given the right to drive. When we got there, nightfall had already come. I'm told that usually in public places in Saudi Arabia, men and women gather separately. But this park is obviously an exception, with many families coming here. In this amusement park, you can find roller coasters and other extremely exciting games. On our way back, the tour guide surprised us with an impromptu visit to his door. Where we were treated to local fare. Dates and Arabic coffee. So my overriding impression here is of a slow, easy and very gentle life. Of course we Chinese know how to relax too, but overall I think our lives are much faster. As these two cultures come together here in the next following days, I'm eager to see what the chemistry produces.